The uh, other stunning point to make uh, out of a big game from yesterday, the Arizona Cardinals taking it on the road, facing one of the high-level AFC contenders, Tennessee Titans. I thought the Titans would win the game. I thought the Cardinals were a team that, you know, still has a lot of work to do to get to where they want to be. Well, they put in the work yesterday, 38-13, to 13, and it was Kyler Murray accounting for five total touchdowns and playing as well as we've ever seen him. The stopping, the starting, the video game, not getting touched, not being harassed, finding a way to get away from anyone who would try to get It's got to be so frustrating as a defensive player to try to track and chase and catch a guy like Kyler Murray. So, uh, um, the the one when when every people look at the stats, you look for different things. Here was the best thing I saw in the box score when I was watching this game and after when I looked at it in total. Kyler Murray, five carries for 20 yards. That's it. That's something that had to change. Now, he'll have more rushing yards than that, obviously, but you look at this team, they were a top 10 rushing team, and a lot of that had to do with Kyler Murray and the way he runs the ball. But they were middle of the pack in that area or lower as a passing team. That part had to improve, whether it's in the pocket or whether it's Kyler making plays on the outside as we're seeing him do. So to me, seeing only five carries for 20 yards is huge. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury, I'm, I'm sure, doesn't want him running that much. Now, you have plan runs for a guy like that. When you have that kind of ability, that's exactly what you do. It also is going to keep the defense on his heels a little more when you have the quarterback running the ball. That, that, that's an extra man. And in the NFL, in football, it's all about dictating. Defense wants to dictate to the offense. Offense wants to dictate to the defense. When you have a quarterback like Kyler Murray, you can dictate because you can do so many things. They ran for 136 yards. He passed for, what, almost 290 yards. And as I said, he didn't run for much. I cannot begin to – now, I was not a great pass rusher in the league at all. In nine years, I had 11 and a half sacks. Some people call that bad. I call it consistent. A little over a sack a year, <laughs> I think that shows great consistency. I'm a, glass, I'm a glass half full guy. But I will say, you know, what happened, it's the one thing as a D-line do you do. When you get a quarterback like that, you have to be so conscious about your rush lanes that sometimes – you don't rush as well as you normally do because you're trying not to let him escape. You can't just kind of let it go because he has such a great ability to get to the outside. And then when he breaks contain, you have put your back seven at such a disadvantage because now are you playing Kyler to run? As soon as you step up on the run, he's going to dump it over the top. He just buys you so much extra time. So it is a nightmare for a D-line and a front seven, certainly the, the, the back DBs, to have to cover that long. You can't ask – defensive backs to cover that long in the NFL and then for a guy to have a threat to run. So I, he's doing what he does, but the biggest thing for me in this game was the fact that he didn't run the ball a lot, didn't have a lot of yards running. He did it with his arm and the team did it with his legs. And oh, by the way, the defense played pretty well. Now, the Tennessee defense is not a very good defense, so they'll be obviously tested much better down the road. The Kyler Murray growth and maturity and assertiveness that we've seen in the offseason he's a lot more vocal he said we can't do this with me being one-dimensional either way he's got to throw it more but the running needs to be part of it and Mike last year their high watermark was the Hale Murray play against the Bills they won yeah. that game after that they were never the same because Kyler Murray was banged up and he needs to avoid getting banged up that's been one of the the best aspects of his game, first two years in the NFL, he has that uncanny ability to avoid contact. He's got to continue to do that. And if you only run the ball five times for the game for 20 yards, you know, he had the touchdown run untouched. He knew uh, with, with a good 40 feet to go to the end zone that he was going to score, and he stuck the ball in the air because he knows how fast he is relative to everyone else. That's going to be the key. Avoid getting hit, avoid getting hurt, and then you can do the passing just enough running to keep the defense on its heels. And also when you're passing, uh, a moment like we saw yesterday where he goes left, he goes right, he goes forward, he goes backward. They just can't get him. 
You can't get him, and and now – and, and believe me, the offense, because you have a quarterback like that, understand they work on these things. And when they have their routes, they have their route tree, whatever play that is, the routes they're running, if Kyler breaks out, they all know exactly where – it doesn't just turn into a schoolyard. They all know where they need to go. They all know the levels they need to be on to help Kyler out and get in position for him to throw the ball. But back to your point about running, the one line that's used with quarterbacks all the time, knowing the – journey's over okay you got what you got knowing it's over get out of bounds get on the ground sometimes guys who run extremely well will try and do more because they can do more I feel I can juke this guy I think I can get more yards and that's when you end up taking that shot that you didn't want to take and all of a sudden you're nicked up and all of a sudden the back end of your season starts to go awry a little bit so that's the maturity level that a quarterback, when he comes in from college and is this great athlete and has made people miss all the time, you have to say, okay, that's great. But I'll go back to what I said. Know when the journey's over. Understand you got more plays to play, and we have a long season to go. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.